Hi, this is Guillaume from CloudScaler. What we want to achieve today is to be able to deploy whatever we want to AWS using Terraform within a GitHub action for the deployment. Also, instead of creating an AWS API key and secret key and storing them in GitHub secrets, we can make it more secure by using a GitHub OIDC provider and only allowing this credential to be run from our GitHub action in this specific repository. To explain the authentication part, Nothing is better than an image. The GitHub action is going to request a GWT, Java Web Token, to the GitHub OIDC provider. Then GitHub OIDC provider will issue a sign GWT to our GitHub action. After that, GitHub action with our sign GWT is going to request a temporary access token from the IAM identity provider in AWS. The IAM identity provider is going to verify the sign GWT with the GitHub OIDC provider and verify if the role we want to assume can be used by the identity provider. As the last step, IAM identity provider is going to use the temporary access token from the role to the GitHub action. After this authentication, our GitHub action environment will get access to AWS following the policies we have attached to the role we assume. After this authentication, our GitHub action environment will get access to AWS following the policies we have attached to the role we assume. So let's get our hands dirty and build this solution. First, we need to create a GitHub repository. Name it as you want. You should set it to private. Create repository. You should copy the user and the name of the repository. You can find this here. Just copy this information as we will need it to create an IAM identity provider. Let's go to AWS. Let's go in IAM. Identity provider. Click on add provider. Open ID connect. Provider is token action github user content.com. Audience is STS Amazon AWS.com. Click on Get Thumbprint. Add Provider. Now we need to create a S3 bucket to store our Terraform states. So let's go in S3. Create bucket, name it as you want. Go to the bottom. You should activate the encryption. Select the key from Amazon. Click on create bucket. Our bucket is now created. Now we will need to create the role that we will assume from GitHub. So let's go in IAM. Roles. Create role. Select custom trust policy. I am going to copy paste a policy that I have prepared before. This policy will be available in the GitHub repository. I will share into the description of the video. This is a trusted entity policy. So to allow the usage of this role through our identity provider, which we created before, you will need to modify your account number, the GitHub username and your repository name. 
you can set optionally the specific branch that the GitHub action will be allowed to use only. In my example today, I have set a star as I am using pull requests from different branches to do a plan and then the main branch to do the apply. So there is actually two branches that I am using. I will find out my GitHub username and repo name. Don't forget to set your account number here. You can find this information upright. Once you're ready, click on next. We need to create a new policy so our role can access the S3 bucket where the Terraform states are going to be located. Then we will attach this policy. Upright, create policy. Click on JSON. Again, this policy will be available in a GitHub repository in the description of the video below. Don't forget to set your bucket name. For me, this is going to be this value. Next, next, set a name. Create policy. Great. We are now going to create an another policy, and this policy is about what we want to deploy in AWS. In my case, I just want to deploy some parameters in AWS SSM, System Manager, for the sake of deploying something. If you want to deploy something else, you will need to adapt your policy to your use case. So I'm going to create my new policy, create policy, JSON. And this is for my special use case. You might want to select something else for your use case. Next. Name it as you want. Now let's come back to the other tab where we have our role. Hit refresh. And let's try to find the one we just created. For me, that should be these ones. Click on next. Name it as you want. Copy somewhere the ARN as we will need it later on. Now I'm going to open Visual Studio to add some Terraform code to our GitHub repository. Let's create an SSM parameter in AWS. Let's add a provider. Now 
Our Terraform code is ready. This is only deploying a sample parameter in AWS System Manager. It's always good practice to find the git in your file for Terraform and put it in your repository. Our Terraform code is ready. This is only deploying a sample parameter in AWS System Manager. Before creating the GitHub action, let's add some secrets inside our repository. Click on Settings, Secrets, Actions, New Repository Secret. First one will be AWS Bucket Name. And that's going to be the name of your bucket, in my case. AWS bucket key name. That's going to be the path for the Terraform state inside your bucket. Your AWS region. In my case, US East 1. The AWS role that the GitHub action is going to assume. Let's now create the GitHub action. The GitHub action file needs to be in a special directory. In this GitHub action, we can see that the GitHub action is triggered when there is a push on the main branch or a pull request. We set up some permissions as it's required for the AWS OIDC connection, the checkout action, and the GitHub bot to comment our pull request. This is running on Ubuntu. First, there is a checkout option. So the GitHub action is cloning the repository and have access to the files. Here we use the official AWS action for configuring the credential through OIDC connection. So this is going to use the OIDC provider we set up together. Then we use an action from AshiCorp. This is the official setup Terraform. This installed Terraform on the GitHub action. Then we have a Terraform format, then a Terraform init. This will set up the backend configuration to use our bucket with the paths we have set into the secrets also. Then there will be a Terraform validation, a Terraform plan only on a pull request. And then we use the GitHub script action on a pull request. This is going to post to the pull request some information with the plan, which is pretty cool. And then at the end, we will do an apply only if there is a push directly to the main branch. So it means that we merge our pull request. So let's create a pull request to send this code to our GitHub repository.
And let's go to GitHub now. Create pull request. And we can see that we have our GitHub action running right now. And that's it, our Terraform plan is working, wonderful. So this is only the plan, the infrastructure has not been created yet. But if I'm okay with this plan, then I can just merge the pull request, confirm merge. I can delete the branch also. And if I go to my repository, I will now wait for the Terraform apply. I can also check the GitHub action directly by clicking here and then go to details. And everything looks good as it's green. We can go to AWS directly and check if our code has been executed correctly. Let's go in SSM. Parameter store. And I can see my parameter that has been created by Terraform using a GitHub action. Great. So we have created our GitHub action and it's connecting through OIDC. Terraform then run a plan during our pull request and then an apply once we merge it. Remember to adapt your AWS policy so you can deploy whatever you want and not just SSM parameters. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Mm -hmm.